If you're looking to build your team, make sure you head on over to CheapMaddenCoins.com for the cheapest prices, fast delivery, and 24-hour customer support. And make sure to use Cold Wolf for 10% off. In today's video, I'm going to show you the third defense that's like the Big Nickel over G, the 4-3 under, and the 4-3 over that I've already shown you guys. It's the same thing, but I want to say this is probably the least effective one. The only advantage you have over the 4-3 and the nickels and all that is that we have more defensive backs on the field. Now, before we get into this, man, make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe to my channel for more content, man. I appreciate it all the love and support if you hate my videos man make sure you drop a dislike as well all that engagement helps man i love you guys man i don't charge for ebooks or nothing like that but the support you guys show me is tremendous and i appreciate it so we're back in the lions playbook now all of these pass rush glitches are in the lions playbook man so if you're not using the lions man then what are you doing you know what i'm saying and you got 335 odd which is probably going to get nerfed with all these that i'm already showing you so use these as fast as you can so the next one we're talking about is the dime normal. This one is not as effective as 4-3 under, 4-3 over, but it's still pretty decent. And if we run things like fire zone press three or cat blitz, whenever it's a third and long, uh, I'll show you guys what I mean. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about today is just a base play that you can use. Now, the, the play that I recommend you guys use is going to either be the Tampa two, okay? Cover two sink and or if I can find it, somewhere here did i just pass it not the buzz match do not use the cover three buzz press okay those defenses from the dime normal is the ones i recommend you guys use stay away from cover four quarters because fades and streaks will kill you over the top uh, cover three clouds decent cover six is decent for outside runs if you're going to run dime normal but that's another thing you got to be careful with is the run game against the dime formation so I would use dime if I knew they were going to pass and they just stayed passing. Then I would run to this uh, this formation. So three wide receivers or more, you should be all right. But what we'll do here is we'll just come out in the cover three buzz press and it will come out with a block running back. So you guys can see that this is one of those plays levels out. This is going to be one of those again. And all we're going to do is we're going to baseline pinch and slam outside it's, it's that simple you guys already know the setups you've been watching my videos you already know the big nickel if you haven't if you're new to all this and what i'm talking about man make sure you go watch the two previous videos we talk about four three under we talk about four three over uh and then we're talking about this one today and what's going to happen with these setups man is i'm gonna just come down to the, i'll come on this side and hold the right trigger you're gonna get one of the ends uh coming off the edge just like that now this is just gonna happen until they patch the game but you know how madden works once they patch that it's gonna be up to me to find the next mess up because when you fix something you break something that's just the way it is with the legacy coding in the game uh, nothing they can do about it so let's go ahead and talk about the adjustment slowly we're gonna base line y or triangle left stick to the right we're gonna pinch the d-line left on the d-pad down on the d-pad and then we're gonna slant outside left on the d-pad right stick up for slant outside now if i'm going too fast for you man just go back and watch the video and pause these parts man it's, it's no big deal you know just when i say something pause it look at your controller go to baseline whatever and the last thing you want to do is you just want to come down here change your coverage the way you want so if you look at the purples that i have here a lot of people don't like purples in madden and, I, and i'm with them on that uh, i'll leave purples in like a cover four drop or if it's starting long and i'm gonna blitz heavy but for the most part, man, uh, you want to change the cloud flats or hard flats. And how you do that is wire triangle, right stick down, and then wire triangle, right stick up for clouds. You know what I'm saying? You can have cloud flats up there. And in cover three, cloud flats are pretty decent because if there's no one stretching the defense out to the right because they don't know how to run the flood concept, uh, then that cloud will play the hard really fast to where it's like a two yard gain, three yard gain. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so it's decent. The cloud flats are decent in this game. And then you can just make your adjustments behind. You can bring this guy over here. You can bring this guy a little bit lower. But for the most part, as long as you pinch and slant outside and hold the right trigger down right here, it doesn't matter what you do in coverage. You still be able to get that block set off the right side all the time. So remember, the formations that allow you to do this are the big nickel over G, the 4-3 under, the 4-3 over, and the dime normal. Okay, so baseline, pinch, slant outside. Uh, we'll do this again with the block running back on that side he still comes in now just like every other glitch if i run the play action okay we have play action now we got pa crossers if i set this up it depends on the block shedding boost that these guys get which they don't get remember i told you guys that it only happens in heavier sets like a four three uh three four 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 six those formations get a block shed boost uh watch my previous videos if you don't know what i'm talking about uh, I explain it in detail. 
but if we switch to a PA crossers, we don't we don't get that. As he does get a block shed boost, but we have the halfback there to the running back actually there to stop it. So whenever that's the case and your opponent knows to run play action because you're getting those, then you need to step your game up a little bit more. And that's where these blitzes come in. All right. Uh, now, the blitz I prefer you to run is probably going to be the fire, the Fox fire zone, or it's going to be I actually shouldn't have flipped it or it's going to be the cat blitz. OK, the cat blitz is pretty decent, takes a little bit. A little bit skill because you got to know how to move your people in so if i run pa crossers okay i'm gonna base the line pin slant outside okay now one thing you need to understand is you need to use how can i explain this you need to use the the corner or the safety or whoever is covering the flat to the weak side that's who you need to use her so it's not going to be this guy it's going to be this guy okay because you want to run these plays on third and long so as i sit out here these guys are going to come in on the blitz it's not the best blitz but it brings pressure as you can see right here these guys are coming straight for the quarterback now like i said you could bring them in closer you can press okay you can do all that stuff you can grab this guy you can bring him next to this guy just like that uh you can actually take this guy bring him in a little bit more but just make sure you're using the guy on the weak side and then come down to the middle holding the right trigger I'm going to block the running back for this one. Cancel the play action. You're going to notice that you get people free. Now, it's not the best blitz because of the setup for the, the way you set it up, but it's still effective. OK, so just running it stock. It, I think those guys are pretty fast that they come in pretty fast. So you need to watch the middle of the field, right side of the field. All these people appear to the right in the middle and you'll have someone there to help you out as soon as possible. Now, I prefer you guys run plays like this in the red zone now one thing i do recommend and if you're fast enough at it okay is to man up the people that are in coverage now some people you can't cross man as those guys can be cross man you know what i'm saying and then we can man up b on watson and all i have to worry about is bryant you know what i'm saying that's all i got to worry about right here uh, you could take x and put him on a on a mid read or you could put him on a blue in case they try to beat you over the top just different things that you can do uh, because he's blocking his running back so we need to stand like somewhere here with the line and then just let our defense and pass rush just do their thing as that guy comes in now b was my guy i shouldn't have left him there but i was watching the pass rush so that's my fault so those are some of the adjustments you can do um you could take your y guy put them on curl flats rb curl flats you know what i'm saying take this guy put him on a blue so now we have a pretty decent setup like this you know what I'm saying? Now, the only thing you need to worry about is this guy right here. You could either put him on a purple, put him on a blue. I recommend you leave him on blues and bring him down. You know what I'm saying? Like you could do that. It's all about what you want to do, ladies and gentlemen. It's not about what I want to do. It's what I think that you should do. You know what I'm saying? Like you, not what I want to do, what you want to do. This is where practice comes in to your game plan. All right. Now, other defenses you can run. Let me just talk about the last one really quick out of the dime normal. Uh, is probably going to be Tampa 2. Now, the way to set up Tampa 2 against a blocked running back with a good effective pass rush is just simply like this. Baseline, pinch, slant outside, take this guy and put him on a blue. Put Davis on a blue, okay? And then you come down to the line on the weak side or on the side of the running back, okay? In case it's a screen, you can jump the screen route and then you just play like this and you'll get that pass rush, but it's a four-man pass rush. Now, another thing that I haven't talked about that you can do is you could take Ansan, put him on a QB spy, leave it a three man rush, put this guy in a blue, things like that. Now you can do that in cover three as well. Okay, so you do that in cover three as well. Uh, and you should still be able to get this guy off the edge. Now, in dime normal, that might happen. That running back might pick him up as we try this again. That's one thing when I was labbing this, uh, like I said, it's the weaker version of, of the glitches that I've been showing you guys with the defensive pass rush. But for the most part, sometimes it comes in if you have a spy, like right there, he comes in and I have a spy there. So it's hit or miss with the dime. The advantage to the dime normal is that you have more defensive backs. Now it's late at night, man. So if like if I'm confusing you or something I'm saying, it's because I'm really tired, bro. I've been up like 18 hours, you know what I mean? I'm tired, all right? I'm gonna go eat me probably a waffle, you know what I mean? Like an Eggo, put some syrup on there. Don't ask me why, bro. That's just how I roll at night. If you do the same thing, let me know in the comments below. Love you guys, man. Peace.